this is Marty McCarrick. eBay's McCarrick123. Mr. Marty Man 7 on YouTube. I usually don't sit in front of the camera and talk, but I just wanted to put a face with my videos. So, what I want to show you is what I bought yesterday at uh, AC Moore's Craft Store. And I'm going to get right to that right now. So, I'm going to turn the camera over to that. Okay, first thing I want to show you is a set of brushes that I got yesterday at AC Moore. And these are by Princeton Art and Brush Company and they were 40% off. And this is a small fan brush, if you can see by the size of my finger. It's uh, really quite small. And that's my daughter's bunny scratching, if you hear that in the background. Number 12 fan brush. And we'll go to the next one is a number 3 round brush. And these are real nice, nice bristles. I can just tell. I can't wait to, to use them. This is an angular shader. Let's see if you can see that or not. I don't think so. Okay, there we go. You can see the angle that it's on. It goes like this. So that's going to be real nice for doing precise work. This, this size this is a 20 liner and that is really nice. Nice size and this one looks like a number three round but it looks like a liner to me and uh, that's going to be a nice brush too. Now these I haven't opened yet. I'm going to start with the big one. Okay, I got the, it's the three quarter inch wash brush. That's going to come in handy. It's got a stiffer bristle. So that's for putting on your, like say I want to do my whole background sky. I would use that. Here's a two, number two round, which is nice. A shader and a number four shader. So I got a number eight shader and a number four shader. So there's my brand new brushes. Love it. Gonna make a nice spot for all my brushes out of this box. I'm gonna have compartments. I just kinda threw it together for now, but I'm gonna have compartments to put all my brushes in so they stay nice. The other thing I did was buy a pack of 8th inch by 4 inch wooden dowels, 100, and they're hardwood dowels. Couldn't resist that. that. They were like super cheap. And I also bought rub on letters and numbers. And they're a 8th inch letter so I can letter like when I patch out um, cars with like white I can letter over with the uh, black letters and then I haven't opened this up yet either but I got this for half price and this is an exacto set and I've never had one quite this nice I decided to get this one because it has its own kit and everything's gonna go right back inside Let's try to pick this out and unwrap it. Let's see what we got. Okay, this one is a number six wood carving knife, and the blade is mm, concave carving blade, and I can guarantee you that is sharp. And here's my nice exacta handled knife. I can't wait to use these. That's a nice size blade, good size. I'm gonna put something on here to for a finger rest. I'll probably get a, a little piece of um, uh, rubber you see on pens now and put that on there to make it a little more comfortable. But that's the that's that blade holder. 
Okay, my next thing I want to show you is all the different blades you get in here. And this is something that I don't think I've ever had. I know I have never had this many. I've had a big blade kit before, but I've never had this many different um, types of blades in it. It's got a saw blade. It's got an acrylic blade. I don't know what that does. Probably cuts something. This is a whittling blade. This was the acrylic blade. Saw blade. Doesn't say what this one is. Hmm. Okay. I'll have to find out what that is. Then we got two chisel blades. A concave carving, carving blade and a large fine point blade. This one must say something on the other side, and it doesn't. So that must be the wallpaper blade. So here, that's my kit for that. And they come with magnets to hold the blades right in place, which I like that. And that was only ten dollars. That was fifty percent off. It was regular nineteen ninety nine. I got a coupon for fifty percent off. So I'm real happy with that. Okay. Keep everything new right in this other box here. Okay, here's something I bought a little while back, but they're all like brand new and I've been using these for painting my backdrop. Okay, and then I bought these this these are the other paints that I used for mixing to do my backdrop. And that's what I'm gonna show you next. That is what I have done so far. So these are acrylic paints and some of them I don't really care for the color, like when I opened this this green color up it came out a total different kind of green than what is pictured on the outside so I wasn't happy if you can see that that doesn't match what the color on the outside was at all I don't even know if I open this one yeah I opened this one now, this was the kind of color that I use I can make the lime green out of this color okay but I did find myself like in the brown and the um, light brown, I used the black, the white, don't think I used the yellow, nope, and I also used the yellow ochre, so there's some really good colors that, no, nope, I didn't use the yellow ochre, I mixed my own yellow ochre, okay, oh, I know what I did, I used I use this right here. It's uh, yellow ochre. I use that for my ochre. I use a lot of this leaf green. It's a lime green color. Thicket I use a lot of. It's a dark green color. This is red clay. That's an excellent color to mix with different browns and stuff to give it tech. And then just plain old earth brown. I use that by the ton and black and white by the ton. I buy black and white and large bottles as you can see and the black is nearly empty already. It's less than half. The white not as about three quarters of the way full. And then I keep myself a bottle of alcohol around and also window wash fluid because I cut my paint with that and I thin down my acrylics with alcohol rather than water because it dries quicker and I can move on. Another thing that I bought was a very sharp pair of scissors 
because all my other scissors were dull and it was frustrating for me to cut. Uh, had this exacto knife on hand and it's the type that you can break off the tip. This is real handy for when you need an exacto knife or uh, I'm sorry, uh, utility knife. I like this utility knife because it was cheap and you can break the tip off when it's dull and I use that for just you know jobs that aren't uh, don't need to be priced where I don't need to be wearing out good blades on and I also bought this a while back and I'll tell you what this thing is handy and it's a little tiny Dremel type tool that takes smaller bits but it's real handy I'm telling you it's so light and you, it works on your fingertip action and you can run it up a straight edge or a long stuff so that is really handy because I, don't, I have a Dremel tool that just went bad on me and I borrowed this one this one's from this is a craftsman and I borrowed it because I use a Dremel every day but this is one thing that I that I love about this this um, Dremel tool it had this bit in the pat thing and it fits anything in the chalk up to a certain point that you can uh, run on you can see that is a little bit wobbly because it's bent but it's not made to go in here but I mean you could use it if it was straight but uh, say I wanted to put a, a piece of stick in there and and um, sand down the end I could put this in there and just run my sandpaper up the end like this and sand that edge right down it's just like a regular drill chuck except for you can spin it by your hands and tighten it right up don't need a wrench or anything use that almost every day okay now I want to go and show you what I did for my background painting this is my second coat on my trees in the corner let me show you that next and if you can notice I'm starting to go off the background of the foam so I'm starting to run down the background that is just uh, outline of it and then I'm playing with the idea of what I'm going to be doing with if you can see the little mountains there they're cutouts and just placed there they're not permanent but I'm thinking at, I'm thinking ahead and then I need to do something with painting the blue there and now that I'm seeing what colors are blending up in here if you can see I've also taken the colors and put them moved them down onto the foam so that's that part